Hey y'all, welcome back to the 8 Squared Experience. And today, before anything, I just want to take a second to thank you all for checking out my channel and checking out this series. It does mean a lot to me that you all are following me along. And if you're watching this and you feel so inclined, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you want to know when new videos are coming up, go ahead and hit that bell icon as well. If you have any comments, leave those in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. I'd love to hear anything you have and any suggestions you have to hopefully make this thing better and make it what you want to see. Now, on to today's episode. Today I'll be hitting up a local aquatic center while I'll be doing a roll session. I've been trying to get a roll down for a few months now with no luck, and a couple weeks ago I finally had that aha moment where it just clicked. And then I was able to start doing some progressions and getting a little bit better each time. Today I'm going to show you a few progressions in the roll process that I've made from easiest to most difficult, at least for me. By no means am I a pro in doing these rolls, hence the name of this series, The Chronicles of a Beater. But I do want to show you how I'm doing my roll from a few different angles so you get a little bit better idea of what's happening here. Now, there are many different ways and styles of doing rolls, and every paddler you meet may give you a different tip and a different trick on how to do it. But whatever you do, just keep it up and keep trying until you find what works for you. This maneuver is one of those things that often takes time, and when it clicks, it's going to make sense to you, and you're going to have that aha moment yourself. What works for you the first time may not be the way you do it in the future. Just like lots of things, the more you do it, the more proficient that you get over time, and sometimes it just changes as you progress. Again, thanks for hanging out, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. On to the rolls. So here you can see one of my mini felt attempts at a roll. And as they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And you all know me, as long as I can, I'm gonna keep going at it. So coming up here, you're gonna see me get back in the boat and get to see my fourth roll I ever completed just a couple weeks ago. Man, I was super pumped once I got that one. So here we go, round one. As we discussed earlier, this is gonna be the onside roll. And all you do here is prepare. As soon as you enter the water, put the paddle up, catch the water, pop yourself right back up. A little easier said than done, but that's how it works on the onside. Round two is going to be the tuck position roll. This is from a paddle view. I have the camera on the paddle. You can see me. I roll my paddle onto my offside, roll over into the water onto my onside, put the paddle up, find the position, roll on up. Next, you're going to see the view from my helmet cam. Same thing, tuck position onside. Now it's time for round three. This is gonna be the tuck position, full 360 roll. It's gonna be the same as before. I wanna be the tuck position to my offside, but this time I'm gonna roll all the way under the water, find myself where I need to be, pop right back up on the other side in that ready to go position. Again, here's gonna be the same roll, just from a different view from my helmet cam. Now you're going to see this same roll one more time from the boat view. And this one's going to be a little bit quicker, just a little bit snappier. Pop right back up, not perfect, but I'm happy with it and I'll take it. Now on to round four. This is going to be the wet entry roll. This is going to be, for instance, if you rolled out, came out somewhat of an area that's flat water, and you can get back in without any issues. So you hop out, roll the boat over. Hop on into that saddle upside down, grab your paddle, find where you need to be underwater, and then once again, easier said than done, pop on right back up. And here you're gonna see essentially the same thing from the top view, outside the water. I disappear, get under the canoe, get inside, find my position, roll right back up. Once again, essentially the same roll. This is gonna be from the boat view. Pop off, roll the boat over. Gonna hop in. Get 
get situated under the water, get my paddle where I need to be, roll around, find the sweet spot, and pop on back up. As always, thank you guys so much for checking me out. And until next time, let's go find some water. Thanks for watching, y'all.